Now, the serious effects of, the, of climate change is hitting the planet faster than expected. That's according to a panel of UN climate scientists, which has just published its latest report. Commenting on the release, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the world needs to act faster. Extreme weather has been hitting us hard for decades now, with catastrophic consequences. Heat waves, droughts, storms, floods, melting Arctic ice. All this time, scientists and UN experts have been calling to limit the speed of global warming. Today, they are sending a familiar message. Time is crucial. Concentrations of carbon dioxide are at their highest in at least two million years. The climate time bomb is ticking. This is why rich countries are being asked to become climate neutral by 2040, which means they need to reach their CO2 goals even faster than planned. What happens in the rest of the decade is extremely important. One problem is that a lot of money is still being spent on fossil fuel extraction and not on curbing climate change. The current amount needs to be increased by 3 to 600 percent. Now, Louise Osborne from DW Environment is with me. Uh, Louise, you, you've been working through this latest report. It was just been published today, a couple of hours ago. Um, what's in the report that we didn't already know? Well, the report is actually more of a... A summary of reports that have been released over the past five years or so to really give uh, a brief and concise um, plan of what action needs to be taken to reduce carbon emissions for policymakers and governments moving forward with this. Um, and it's really acting as a final warning that if we want to make sure that we don't hit this 1.5 degree limit or don't go over it by too much anyway, that action needs to be taken immediately. Mm. There have been so many final warnings and reports and, 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 and all that. So what is it that we need to do now? So the report says that radical and immediate action needs to be taken. That radical and immediate action needs to be taken. Um, emissions are still rising at the moment, so they need they to be... They should be sinking. Yes, Actually, they should. Not um, stay the same, they should be sinking. And they should peak at the latest by 2025. Uh, that's what they're saying with this report. They're also saying that they need to cut it down um, by almost half by the end of this decade, if there is any hope, again, of uh, not hitting that 1.5 degree temperature rise. Um, they need to stop, or governments, Industry needs to stop investing in fossil fuels, moving towards renewable energy, um, and also looking at carbon capture and storage as a, as a way of also taking carbon out of the atmosphere, whether that's through planting new trees um, or by um, looking at new technology to do that. Now, many, many governments, uh, uh, most governments around the world are behind this panel, the IPCC, the International uh, Panel on Climate Change. Um, why are we not seeing any progress? This has been going on for many, many years. Well, I mean, it's not as simple to say that we haven't seen any progress. There has been progress. I mean, uh, at the Paris Agreement, where the governments came together initially, um, we're now looking at, you know, up to a three-degree rise, which, OK, is still way too high, but it's still moving in the right direction if it's, you know, too slow. Too slow. I mean, uh, countries like Germany, for example, are looking at phasing out um, coal-based uh, energy um, by 2038, uh, maybe by 2030 even. But as Gutierrez says, like, uh, net zero uh, promises need to be met much earlier than the 2050 that a lot of governments are promising. Mm. So it's not just doom and gloom, is it? It's not just doom and gloom. Um, I mean, this report is very clear that um, we still have a chance to come under or to at least not go very much over the 1.5 degrees. It's just a case of, like, acting now and using this as the, the jumping-off point to actually doing the things that need to be done rather than just talking about them. And for more now, I'm joined by Nina Zaga, director of the Center for Sustainable Finance at Cambridge University, focusing on climate change. It's good to have you on the program. I want to maybe play devil's advocate a little bit here with this. Um, we, we are always reporting about climate change, as we should, but it seems like what, what came out of this report is basically the same headline that we've had from previous reports. Do we maybe run the danger 
of people tuning us out? Are we de you know, sensitizing public to the dangers of climate change? 